my name's Callie Garn, and I'm uh, pretty much graduated as a senior at the Coeur d'Alene Charter Academy. And today, we're going to talk about um, the horn. And specifically, we're going to talk about horn, you know, hand placement, bell and hand placement. Um, so, here's the thing, and this sounds like a really trivial thing to go over, but I just... You know, when I was thinking of things that maybe I would I would want to talk about, this came up because not I'm I'm a senior and not until about just this year was I really taught the proper way to put your hand in the bell of the horn and it makes a huge difference with pitch and everything obviously. So, we're going to just go over it really fast. So, basically what it is is you put your hand out as if you're going to shake someone's hand, right? And then you put your fingers together and then you put your thumb in and it should and when you put your hand and it sh oh yeah, it should have like a natural curve to your hand or whatever. So then when you go and put the um your hand into the bell, it really um it should be oh, let me just get this out of the way. It should be parallel to the ground so that when you have it, you can easily, you know, lift it from your leg, lift it up, do, a, you know, bell in the air or whatever, something like that. And so this, and the other thing that's really, I guess, nice about having your hand like this is that you can go straight from here, you know, with your knuckles um, pretty much almost all the way in, you can go straight from here to a stop position in no time. Whereas when I had it, my hand up here, or like when you have your hand up here, it's like 10 times harder because you have to readjust your hand to get into stop position. So that's why it's really important to have it like this. Now, as a quick side note, some professors will say that it like really matters if you have your horn on or off the knee. Um... But, you know, some people say it matters, some people don't, so it's kind of hard to know. Like, you know, you know, I personally, like, my arm gets super tired, and so sometimes I do cheat and I put it on my leg. But I will say this about keeping your hand, keeping your um, horn off of your leg. It prevents you from wanting to, like, because when you have your horn on your leg, then you get really lazy and you kind of, like, put your shoulders down. And then you won't, don't have as near as much breath support, air support. So I would suggest keeping your arm up. So with your new adjusted hand, let's do a scale really fast. So that just like makes everything 10 times easier knowing exactly where to put your hand. It sounds like really stupid, but it's just like, you know, it's just a basic thing that sometimes I think gets looked over. So thanks for watching, and um, I hope this was helpful.